This video is brought to you by the makers of Senslip, the undergarment for men that solves sensitivity problems. Hi everybody, welcome back to Big Review. I'm Jim and um, this is young Victoria who's come to help me assemble a Manor 6x5 SD shed. Now I've um, assembled quite a few of these uh, products before and the 6x5 shed is a different ball game from the 6x4 shed which I have had the pleasure of assembling many of them. The 6x5 shed I've chosen it because we're going to put it up on this patio and it's perfectly the right size for everything that I want to uh, put in it. Um, the instructions that come with this are written in several different languages depending on where you live and it's very, they're very comprehensive with very good diagrams. Now, um, let's start off from when I bought this uh, shed. Uh, it arrived in a very, very big box. I did not measure the box before I unpacked it, but um, it was too big to get into the back of a normal estate car or station wagon, and I had to open the box and take all the contents out and put them in the car separately. Um, it took several trips taking the uh, various components from the car to where we are now. So before you order one of these, make sure that you find a method of transporting it. The box itself was very sturdy and um, I thought that uh, there wouldn't be a problem with the contents inside. However, before we start to assemble this box, and by the way, this is not gonna be one of those long, long videos because uh, we're going to assemble the box, we're not going to bother uh, assemble, assemble the shed, we're not going to bother filming it. Now, when we bought all this stuff up here, um, Victoria here noticed there's quite a few defects. Now, what I should have done was get in touch with Kita and um, gotten to replace the parts. But tell us what you found when you unpacked it. Let's have a look. I'll get the camera and we'll show. So basically, as we see here, this has been broken from t from here and to here. Yeah, that's been crushed, hasn't it? And here too. And also over here, we've got the same again. Now this is the underside of the floor, so it shouldn't really matter too much. But um, let's just go back and so have a look at this bit here, which this one might be the problem. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. This is a metal profile and somehow, some way, it was probably packed when it was crushed. It hasn't been crushed in the packaging. Now I've hammered this out. This is the bottom of the door frame and it doesn't look too good and I just hope that it works out okay. But what I should have done was got a new one of these from Kita. Now I've actually or I, Victoria and I have actually jumped the gun here. Um, the, it's very important to check the instructions, read them several times uh, in your spare time. Very important to do that. The equipment that you're going to need to assemble this shed is basically a screwdriver and you've got to get to know all of the components before you even attempt to um, uh, assemble anything. Now what we've done already, now this is important and I'm going to talk about this later in the video, the two doors that come with this, this is one of them, um, we jumped the gun and we assembled the doors first thing and um, Victoria pointed out something to me that is a great help on doing it. On the previous key to sheds I've, I've purchased these doors have been already assembled in the factory and they arrived like this. This came in all the different pieces. Now, what we're gonna do is at the end of this video, we're gonna show you how you can reduce the time to assemble these doors because it took me an hour and a half. It should have taken me about 40 minutes to make both of them. But we found a little tip which we're gonna give you uh, to help you assemble these doors which is very important because if you don't assemble them properly they're not going to fit into the hole and in fact I don't even know if they're going to fit into the hole anyway yet but we'll come to that later. So what we're going to do we're going to um, uh, show you the tools that we, we've got to assemble this 
Um, it's quite simple. Electric screwdriver. And also, something that Keita haven't even bothered to mention here, um, I've got a 2 mil, 2.5 mil drill bit and a separate drill because you've got to drill holes through the metal profiles. And these metal profiles, there are uh, uh, the screws that you make the doors with and put the metal door frame in, they're self-tapping screws, they're also self-drilling screws, so they actually, you, you don't have to have pilot holes already in the metal frame before you put the screw in. But it's easier if you drill a little hole first and then put the screw in. I'm sure you'll realise that. Now, there's hundreds of screws here in uh, seven different sizes. They're all labelled and they're very clearly marked um, as to which screws you use for which components of the of the shed. Now, before we even start this, sorry Victor, if you just have a little move out the way. That's more or less what we've got here to assemble. There's quite a lot. and many profiles to put together. Now after I've read the instructions several times I realise that it's not quite as bad as I thought. And these are all the screws and you'll see there that I've put a pair of pliers on the uh, top of this box which happens to be a Kita Denali 100 box, hey ho. Right, so why have I got the pliers here? I'm going to tell you why because these You don't, you're, not, you're not supposed to have these to assemble this shed. But when, I, when Victoria pointed out that some of the panels on this shed had been crushed, it's lightweight plastic, okay? You can pull it all back by doing that, which I've tried to do. Um, just before we start to assemble this shed, the previous two sheds I had from Kita, um, I had them for six years on a sunny patio and they were in perfect condition after six years. I think the, they guarantee these things for 10 years, but they, although they look pretty flimsy and plasticky before you assemble them, when they're all put together properly, um, they're gonna last you a long time, a lot more than the wooden one, I can tell you that. Okay, don't go away, we'll see you later. Brilliant. Did I actually record that? Yes, I did, right. Hello again, that was quick. Well, actually, it wasn't really that quick because it took me and Victoria about three and a half hours to put this Manor uh, 6x5 SD shed up. Um, it wasn't quite as easy as I thought it was going to be, uh, but we did it. And as I said earlier, um, it's all about reading the instructions time and time again. Um, a couple of things I didn't mention earlier on uh, when we started this video. You're going to need one of these things which is a soft club hammer to knock things into place and also this came with the shed and it's like a little spatula and you're definitely going to need it um, for putting the roof on. The roof, this, is very easy to assemble on the floor but actually getting it mounted on top of the shed was quite a task and that took about an hour and a half and at times I thought it was impossible, it was never going to fit at all. It was a design fault, but in fact it wasn't. Um, just a, a bit of patience and what, what we did was, uh, at one stage we just gave up, didn't we? Yeah, we, we did. We just completely gave up and left it for an hour. And then I said, well, it's got to fit because uh, we've probably done something wrong. Well, we hadn't really done anything wrong. It just needed a little bit of uh, pushing around to get it done. But anyway, look. That's the shed, it looks really good. Um, it's a very handsome looking shed. It's much better, I, it looks wise, I think it looks much better than the gray and white one that they make. This one's obviously the gray and black one. Um, I've used up all the right screws uh, and I've still got some left over. Now, what I wanna show you, and Keita, if you're watching this video, take note of this, okay? I'm gonna open the doors, I'm gonna talk about these doors a little bit more because it's going to help you. Um, when you design this shed you had two 50 millimeter screws in here. These they're quite big self-tapping screws 
and they're supposed to go in these holes that go up here but they didn't work and I'll tell you why one of them popped out here in the plastic you can't see it but it's actually almost ruptured the surface of the plastic and likewise on the other side so that's uh, I've, what I've done is I've used one of the spare screws here just to put in here to secure this the top of the door frame. I need either a small step ladder or something to stand on because it's all right for me, but Victoria's a little bit shorter than I am. Okay, now when we assembled the doors, it took us twice as long as it should have done. And if you imagine this door in pieces, flat on a work bench or something. The very first pieces you put on are these side profiles and they've got to be in exactly the right position and I, twice I didn't get them, well I did get them in the right position but when I was screwing them in they moved a couple of millimetres. Victoria came up with a very very good idea. You tell them what you did. Um, so basically what I suggested was to put some tape around here to keep it in place and that wouldn't move anything and then you'd be alright. Yeah, so basically you can do it both sides and then take the tape off afterwards. Now if we'd done that, that would have saved me about 40 minutes. But otherwise, it seems pretty sturdy. Um, had one slight mishap. Well, some of these panels have got steel reinforcement rods in them. And unfortunately, when I was manoeuvring one of these panels into place, um, yeah, one of these rods slipped out from inside of the plastic uh, panels here, and it went whoosh, dunk, and it actually punctured the floor. The floor is adequate, but what I'm going to do is reinforce it with a very strong rubber mat, because if you drop any power tools on it, or something like that, or something with a sharp edge, it will go through. But overall. Um, I'm very pleased with it. It looks good. A couple of people have seen it. Just one other small point which I might have to address later on is um, when I put the doors, screwed them on, um, they fitted perfectly but now I've turned the shed through 90 degrees and we've put it into this final resting place for it and just because this surface here is flat because it's a patio Maybe it's not quite as flat as I thought it was, but I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, it's not a big deal, but you've got to do all this stuff. And then there's a bolt top and bottom where you can lock it. And likewise with this door, we can... Uh, let me have a present for you. Thank you. Um, likewise, I've got to kick the bottom of it, close it up and this catch now is a bit stiff. Anyway thank you very much for watching this. Um, I think if anyone from Keita is watching I'm going to give this 7 out of 10 for packaging because we had some damaged parts but we got over it. Um, instructions probably 9 out of 10. Um, I think you can definitely make life easier for yourself if you remember the thing with the sellotape. Um, and just have lots and lots of patience. Anyway, if you've enjoyed watching this, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. This video was brought to you by the makers of Senslip, the undergarment for men that solves sensitivity problems.